Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Poetic Philosophy number 95. And in today's show, I only have four poems, two poems you've already heard, and two new ones that I just wrote this morning. So you get them um, first revision. The two I wrote this morning, Index Cards and Light and Darkness, and the two that you know, Night is Long and Sin Wise. They all come together and form a message within this uh, within this podcast, which I'll be talking about in a second. And, of course, there will be a song at the end of this podcast podcast at the end of this show it's called pumpkin spice miss by devo spice devo spice is a popular artist well one of the popular artists but you probably also heard him most on like the dr demento show if you used to watch his show devo spice is you know one of the uh funny music artists over at the fump.com and the fump stands for Funny Music Project. And if you like funny music, and what is funny music? Well, funny music is uh, music you heard on Dr. Demento. Uh, for all those old timers out there, Ray Stevens, even though Ray Stevens is still doing his stuff on YouTube. So hope you enjoy the show. And now, before the poems, this is the uh, theme that I want to start with. What if the ego mind doesn't die when our higher self leaves the body and the body dies? The ego self cannot enter creation's energy. Only the higher self can enter the higher vibration. The ego self stays earthbound with no physical body because it's of lower nature, lower vibration. Now, imagine how that feels like to the ego self. It probably feels abandoned and it doesn't die. The dark feeling would probably increase over the years, maybe over a thousand years. It sees their loved ones die while it stays here. And it sees their higher selves come back over and over again with no hope. Why is this possible? Because the higher part of us are creators. They're part of God. We create our ego bodies just like God created us or the, the vibrations of the original us. We create as we have been. We are all, and we're all a part of the one. But this, you know, being part of the one, this is also the redemption for the ego bodies. They too will eventually merge back into creation to be reborn again anew in a new vibration long in the distant future. Now, some people say that the ego body, um, it'll vanish from the earth when the higher part, the higher vibration of us leaves. But would it? I mean, think of uh, all the darkness that's on this earth. And can't be all because of demons. You know? Because um, the, there is darkness within the human body. You know, within this, this realm, being here. <clears throat> we create a darkness. And the higher part of us is the light within that darkness. So, maybe that is why we're really here, to help lighten the darkness 
and help uh, return these shadows back into the creation to be burnt up and merged with experience for our time in another universe long, long, long from now. So that is some of the thoughts. And these four poems that I'm going to read have those ideas in them. And when you hear these poems all together within this piece, well, you'll understand a thought that I'm trying to come across or that I'm trying to present. So the first poem, and again, it's a work in progress. It's more like a list poem. And that's why I entitled it Index Cards. Listening to stories of pagan, Halloween, Christmas, Easter, pumpkins, trees, bunnies, celebrating the harvest, symbol of life, image of fear. But in religion, we also see these, like images of worship. Even though, in the main law, we shall not worship images. Like Jesus the person, because the Bible says, heaven is not in the outer, but within us. It's a living light that is within us. It is who we really are powerful creators of God. Well, it's just a thought. But so is religion. So what is truth? The next new poem that I wrote this morning, and I start this with a, uh, the first stanza is from that poem. Uh, I forget the name of the poem <laughs> by Dylan Thomas. Um, you know, uh, do not go gentle into that good night. I'm sure you've heard it. I start there and I go somewhere else with it. The title of this poem is Light in Darkness. Do not go gentle into that good night. Old age should burn and rage at close of day. Rage, rage against the dying of the light. Imagine a world without war no more. Two paths lay before, one guilt and one love. The ones of carnal mind and God mind. In a world of swords and plowshares, the one of carnal mind is of swords. We hear in our words and see in our actions. In a world of swords and plowshares, the one of God mind is of plowshares. We hear in our words and see in our actions. To live our life into our good night, the moon high in the sky reminds us of the light in our darkest moment of night. We do rage in night, the dying of light, but dawn will eventually come as we all do, celebrate. The next poem you've heard. Actually, you heard it last week. Night is long. The night is long, dark and deep. I have miles to travel before I sleep. The great Yankee poet once wrote a long time ago, but now, overcast, night. Streetlights cast their small light on the scene. I walk the lonely streets of souls who are lost, lost in their own creations, who thirst for true knowledge, who hunger for being, whose desire is to be known to the one who hasn't forgotten. In the land of shadows, we only have vague glimpses in the dreams of night about the true reality that only the moon knows. In the reflected light of the full moon, we remember that time long ago, the city of the garden in the land of Eden. On our darkened path, we travel to the home we've forgotten, meeting lost souls along the way 
to give them food and the water of life and to share the stories of our dreams and hopes of remembering. And once we remember, we can begin our journey of returning home. We each have that longing, that loneliness of the first separation. In this loneliness, we are united for the time of oneness, of beauty, of love, and of true joy. And I end the final poem you also heard last week. I think I posted it before then, too. It's called Sin Wise. To make a mistake is to sin. When we learn from sin, we become wiser. We now know what not to do. We come to know the knowledge of what is good and evil. This is a journey we started a long time ago, far, far away in the garden of old Eden. The story always continues, light, love, life. We learn and we grow down the path of long ago, stuck in the cycle, the cycle of knowledge. We remember that time before before the spin of the wheel, the knowledge, before we were just being, before the story of the tree in the garden of old, Eden. The story does have an ending, another beginning. Like the great wheel spins, no beginning and no ending. We missed that time before, but that path is gone. The sin, the error, the price, the price of wisdom before the story of the tree in the garden of old, Eden. Pain is knowledge being born. I heard many a year from now in a song the truth is revealed. The sadness in the human heart is from long ago in the realm far, far away, a time where we were just being before the sin at the tree in the garden of old, Eden. So, I hope you liked this. Thank you for listening. And now to round out the show is Pumpkin Spice Miss by Devo Spice from thefump.com. And as always, stay creative in the magic of life. Thank you for listening. <laughs>